Well, guys, you probably remember I promised to put the boat to the garage and do a lot of things, renovate everything. And it uh, happened that I will start from the installing second battery. So I have Optima, uh, the main battery, the big battery, which is uh, there. And uh, in one of my videos, I told that I will be putting the second battery somewhere there. So somewhere there. And uh, uh, in the same time, I decided that I will do water leakage uh, detection system based on eye socket in this boat uh, because because uh, I have the flush uh, hole there. Uh, yeah, you, you should see it now. And uh, when I my boat is unattended for several days, sometimes and leaves and everything is there it stacks and the level can rise and go to electricity here there so and that's why i want to detect when i have water and i decided that i will do this in that place where i put the second battery so uh, maybe the video will be like uh, not in the logical sequence, I don't know, because I do quite many different work in the same time and just collecting material. But I will focus here on this placement for the second battery and the water, water detection. So, for example, you can uh, have uh, uh, enclosed board with pump and you want to detect uh, water in, is it called bilge? B R L B B B B I L G E I think no yeah I I don't remember say me in comments so um that will be useful useful for you also yeah so and we will be doing this with eye socket yeah let's see how it goes and we will consider in this video three types of eye socket water sensor uh, I will tell later about them I just show you now. The original battery that comes with this board is this one, uh, this size, and particularly this one, Varta. Uh, it was installed in the box, uh, in the box here, and this box I will use uh, to uh, put it over there. Okay, I will tell later about it. But I decided this year that I will use this Optima battery. I think uh, you who watch this in English, everybody know what is Optima battery from the US. I got my first Optima battery when I was very young and I brought the car, Hyundai car, from the US and it was with the red Optima battery and it was absolutely amazing. Since, since that time I know what is the Optima battery. If you don't know, you can just Google and research why they are the best batteries in the world. They don't pay me for this, for saying this. It's just my own experience for many, many years. So this one, big one, uh, is going to be here. And the second one, so I removed the um, glove box. From here, I will install new boxes. Uh, that, uh, it will be another video. Uh, I think, guys, you will also like to see what kind of boxes I'm installing and why. So, and uh, here, when I removed, I see that probably that is the good place where to have the battery and uh, the original battery, the smaller one. Uh, and so that it doesn't move, I want to put it in the original box which I want to cut and stick somehow there and if you watched my video about cable glands uh, then you probably know that I prepared them there and because once I hit the stone and repaired my boat uh, from the bottom side and from this side since that time I got this hutch and uh, uh, so I going by cables there through the floor I will be able to get cables here and connect the second battery uh, it's not going to be in this video but there will be another video about all electricity I will be changing a lot of things here so subscribe to see about it uh, there will be interesting tools parts that you probably never knew about so but now about the battery yeah and the water detection there.
So from this uh, normal battery box, I made a low profile with jigsaw. Well, guys, uh, cancel, <laughs> cancellation. No way to put it there. You imagine you have uh, entrance for the battery here, just here, and it's not possible, not possible with two hands, with one hand, with help of someone to put it there. So why cannot I put it with help of uh, this opening? because it's not just one time uh, I store my board in minus 30 degree Celsius outdoor uh, it's just this time in the garage so uh, I don't want to keep uh, battery in the board I want to remove it and put to the warm garage so that's why no way unfortunately to have it there and I think uh, this uh, uh, what we designed there will be just here well that's how we have it here unfortunately if I would knew this uh, would know this in advance I wouldn't cut this so low I would cut it on the level of this hatch entrance because sometimes when I have water here it goes in I don't want to be butter in the water so probably I will need to take the new box and cut it differently again, unfortunately. Yeah, and I will install also water sensor, I socket water sensor or water level detector, I don't know yet here. Uh, probably through this wall it will be connected then to the eye socket main unit system and I will get through cellular network if here is water. Yeah, because I store this uh, board outdoor and sometimes there is locked uh, uh, flush uh, hole flush 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 yeah okay so and uh, that's why I have full of water here so I want to be notified with a socket sensor well guys I have been thinking a lot well if I don't have holes for water here and I want to protect battery from the water why do I need this no I don't need the battery is okay in the water so but if I don't have holes uh, to flush the water here then uh, in case I need to clean it for example like now uh, how can I do this how can I take water out of this no I think I have to do holes for the water it's fine it's okay so when we have water here it goes also there and in that case I can just put eye socket water detector here in the box I will show options that I consider it and I come to the final option that I just put eye socket here well uh, about uh, eye socket water solutions okay I clean it up this I will do I will do drilling for water flush and uh, yeah as I told you but okay let's let's go to the eye socket so they have a solution with different types of sensors here like water sensor multi-liquid detector water flow and liquid level detector well, we consider this three one two three this one so that's the most the oldest one water sensor uh, is that one which is electrical uh, uh, the principle of work is electricity, conductivity of the water and that's why when you have poor water or distilled water uh, it is the same as rain water, it won't detect it. So my idea was to put it here, even if I have some parcels, yeah okay, if you are of course, if you are boating on the sea in the salt water, fine, everything is fine, but if you are uh well again if you want to detect salt water in my case i want to detect rain water 
which come in my boat, uh, which is unattended. And I want to be notified about it and come and clean uh, the hole, which is all usually full of dust. So uh, uh, that's why this doesn't work for me, because uh, rainwater is not conductive. Otherwise, I would put it here. Okay, but I so get a solution for uh, with a multi liquid detector, this one, and I <clears throat> and uh, the principle is photo element. And I've been using this for a while, for maybe more than one year in my drainage system. Drainage, drainage. Hey guys, tell me in comments how to say this correctly in English, if it's English at all. So, um, and um, yeah. Uh, this will detect any liquid, any any water and anything else. So, including uh, poor water, because this is photo element. But as I told, I, I've been testing for a year or more, and I noticed that, yeah, it's very sensitive. And if you have some dust here, yeah, it will be triggering alarm. But in my case, I have access to here, so I can clean it uh, any time. So, it will be like... Uh, this way. Unfortunately, it's a little bit bigger one. <clears throat> you can actually screw this to the wall if you want to detect leakage from your up neighbors or from the second floor of your board. <laughs> I don't have that. So, and the last solution which doesn't rely on any photo or electricity but just mechanical action is this one, uh, which is called, which is called, which is called uh, liquid lever detect. Huh? So, yeah, they all pack it uh, in the same and just which one you want to choose. So, uh, okay, here I have a demo. Uh, I didn't finish the video with this demo. Oh, yeah, unfortunately, it's empty. Yeah, so, and you can see this. It is there. Pink, pink, pink. Yeah, so uh, I put it here and drill it like this. And you understand that it can detect uh, up and low level of water, depending on how you configure this. So, uh, basically the same I would like to make here. Uh, drill uh, is through there, and so uh, put it there. And when water rising, it will be rising. Uh, the challenge here is to find the right level when I want water to be detected without false alarming. Yeah, it's up to me to find. And <clears throat> what else, what else? Ah, yeah, one concern that when I have it here, uh, the battery can push it, touch it and damage because the battery is heavy, but I can protect it somehow. So I think I will put them both this two, yeah? So, uh, uh, I, I'll be talking about the main system later, if I will, I don't know yet. So, they all connected to the eye socket, uh, main unit uh, with cellular connectivity and will notify you by text, voice, WhatsApp, email. Um, so, you, you don't need, of course, internet, you don't have it probably on your board. So, um, <clears throat> that is another story. Now we just consider this part of installation. Uh, I will do final, probably without uh, final uh, uh, drilling and so on, probably without extra non-English speaking words. And you just watch uh, what is happening, our oh, final result. Something like that. Let's see. Okay, I drilled holes, yeah, because we decided that this box will uh, not be for protection of the battery from the water, but instead it uh, allows the water to come in, and here we have our sensors, and the holes are for cleaning this. Uh, yeah, when we want to clean, the water goes out of them. So, and now look, if I put this battery, this specific battery here, yeah, and if I would, if I could use this sensor for salt water or uh, not poor water, that's fine. I just put it there. Nice, absolutely nice. But in my case, for rainwater, I need this one. It doesn't fit. Of course, I can go this way, like put it here, and then like that way. 
but the battery is not straight i don't like it so uh and i decided that i'm going to cut it so in some spaces which are not affected uh ability to detect water so and in that case uh the interesting part that this sensor will hold battery here from that motion movement uh, from uh, this direction movement and then i can put this level sensor there which will be protected there yeah then i decide which one i want to use let's see so i cut it this way this way from just one side and it fits tightly here so i think it's fine it's enough but it's hot of course because i cut it and i'm afraid if i damage anything so that's why i will first test it now uh, for testing i will plug it into this eye socket of course there uh, on the board will not be used this one because i don't have ac but in case if you have ac on your board you have big board in the dock then you can just use this plug because it's available uh, for any country with any plug yeah so and it's the easiest solution yeah so i plug it here for testing yeah yeah i mean the like nemo plug for the united states british plug uh, switzerland plug french plug australian plug yeah any any available yeah so and now we will connect it and check well i probably won't show you the app about my configuration and everything because it's on the same phone from which i'm screening this video probably i will record later all actions in the app and put this in this video but maybe not and we will be looking just on uh, indicators so the device is connected ignore the uh, blue one and here is the green one yeah believe me it is the green one so and blinking every second means that alarm fu function is activated because i already have done everything in the app it was just few seconds so and when it will be fl um, flashing quickly it means that the alarm even is happening so in in our case it will be water so i will put now the sensor in the water so we have this sensor here yeah and uh, we have some very dirty water here i don't want to put it here <laughs> okay i put it there and let's look what is happening oh nice yeah it detects alarm so everything fine we didn't damage this by cutting off fine everything works i probably will show you in the app uh, let's see but now when i know that it works okay i can continue with the board well okay let's take it out let's take it out <laughs> i don't need foo -foo. so and now and now and now and now again it's blinking every every second so fine no water yeah everything works perfect perfectly nice and now when i unplug it i it will also report me about power outage power cut power failure because you can see yeah it's reporting uh it's still working because the battery inside cellular connection inside no wi-fi needs nothing anything uh, nothing that you don't have on your board so it's reports and i know that the power has failed yeah okay and now it goes to shut down yeah that's it well, guys i decided to demonstrate you this one because it's simply we have the socket here and you understand how the led indicates the alarm event so uh, and it's easy to show you how this works now we have alarm function activated no alarm events the red uh, um, the green one the top one power green one uh, blinking once per second and let's imagine we have water 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 coming 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 come in yeah 
and you can see it's uh, flashing quickly it detects water rising water level it's so easy it's so simple yeah and uh, imagine you want to detect in your application not in the water just okay let's say uh, you, you want to detect empty tank yeah so you just rotate as you have seen you just rotate this one yeah and that's your that's your full tank full tank you can see no alarm events uh, the green is blinking just one per second and then water water some somebody drinking drinking too much beer from your tank empty beer tank and you can see it's blinking fast yeah it detects alarm you can do the same rotation in the program if you understand uh, terminology and c and or no normally open normally closed normally closed normally opened yeah uh, so you can either do physical rotation or in the program well it's very simple yeah nice now you understand how it works yeah because uh, um, I show you this plug smart plug I socket smart plug and if you have the board the big board in the dock uh, with AC power yeah you can use this one it's it's simple it's easy very easy and um, yeah but in case if uh, like my board which is open board all, always on the weather I don't have all, always outside uh, in in harsh weather conditions I don't have AC power in that case I will need uh, another solution not a smart plug I think I, I am not talking about it in this video uh, this thread is 11 with something millimeters so 12 millimeters drill will be fine but I'm lazy to search for this so 14 should be also fine because it's less than this gasket so let's do this job
Wonderful. Perfect. Yep, 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 yep. What was it? I don't know. That's the final result, guys. Yeah. So that's it. That's it. I think. Uh, yeah. One more idea. Probably, if I stick with that battery, I want to put profile to keep the battery on that place here. Additionally, not rely on keeping the battery just by the sensor. And then, the, and then this one is protected. So if we have water here there it will rise and will notify either this or this one yeah i need two eye sockets two eye sockets for two sensors but i will just uh, uh, choose which one i want to use from the sensors well uh, well by the way about this gasket uh, rubber gasket well it helps to s s uh, to keep it stronger here because we need this mo movement we don't want uh, uh, this to be rotated inside here so in case if if it would be sealed tank i would put extra 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 sealing as i did here yeah you can see yeah but this is different application so we have water all around so we don't care about uh, ceiling we just care about the right position and here like plastic through the plastic through the gasket it keeps strong I think strong enough it's fine no no glue I think no glue no clue so guys here we have pre-final result and this will be final for this video so this uh, box will be located here as you can see uh, this uh, multi-liquid detector will be there and this water level detector will be here so if we have water inside it will be detected by both i will be testing which one is better this one is going to be connected through this wall i don't know yet what will be the solution and you won't see this in this video because i think it will take long time before i do everything in this board so i will finalize this video just about that subject yeah i told you that i am placing the second battery and the cables for this battery will come from here through the floor through the floor it will go there so that's the battery i think that contact will be located close to the wall there so it will be placed here and as i told in my boat i don't have ac power uh, so uh, i cannot use this plug you probably can so, uh, and I'm not going to cover other options because, again, it won't be soon. Maybe a year or even more, I don't know yet. So, but if you have a big boat and you want to detect water, uh, that's the solution. Absolutely perfect solution. Yeah, so, and yeah, th this video is supposed to be also about installing secondary battery. Uh, but I think, uh, well, I just cover it um, basic things about like placing the second battery here because I want to have some balance for this board because more, the heaviest part is here and uh, when I place battery here I create some balance why do i need the second battery yeah well because i i'm going to have a lot of uh, different stuff here and this will be reserve battery in case if i drain my main battery that's quite normal that's quite normal uh, solution not on this small board but i'm doing uh, everything here yeah there is going to be a lot of different video about what i'm going to do so in this i just cover it 
this subject about uh, placing the second battery and the water detection. I think that's it, guys. So if you like it, like. If you have question, please ask me. Well, forgive for my non-English, but yeah, English, 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 yeah. But but that's what I can do for you. Thanks. Bye. Subscribe.